Hey there. It's Saturday morning. Uh, hey there. Oops. Saturday. Tonight there's a, a outdoor Pittsburgh Penguins hockey game. And to celebrate, I'm going to make a CSS hockey rink. Uh, it's going to, I don't know what it's going to look like. Google Images Hockey Rink. It's gonna look like this or something. Um, then I'm gonna put like a like a hockey puck. And it's gonna like animate. I found this cool site called Coolers for Colors, uh, and I made a little color scheme myself. I caught a hockey. Uh, so that's what we're going to use. Let's go for it. I'm going to get rid of my JS editor. I don't need that today. And I've learned a little trick. Um, Maybe it's not a trick, but I, I just kind of want the, the hockey rink to go like right here. Um, and I've seen a couple people do this. If you position absolute margin auto, top left, bottom right, all zero, it stays right in the middle. It's pretty neat. So that's what I'm going to do. I should keep this as a snippet or something. I'll just paste it in at the beginning of every pen. So just to kind of see what I'm doing here, we can, uh, the container won't have anything for real. Actually, it will have a height and width. Um, I don't know how big's our hockey rink, maybe 300 pixels. And just for now, I will give it um, a background color. I'll take it off in a minute. Cool, so you see it up there, and then I say top zero, right zero, left. Zero, bottom zero. I was hoping that'd go right in the middle. <laughs> I have a snippet up here. What did I miss? Oh, margin auto, not zero. Cool, right in the middle. So everything in the container will be there. That'll be cool. Um, what do I want? A rink. So the rink, according to my color scheme, will be that guy. Cool. Um, it's not a circle. I've memorized this. If you do 50%, it is a circle. I've said that a couple times at work this week. Feeling all smart. Um, but we don't want it to be a circle. We want it to be like an oval looking thing. And that is, um, kind of, I want it fatter. Oh, this should probably be, that looks a little better. Cool, that's my ice. Um, and then I guess on the outside, I don't really know. Google images. I guess I can just like surround it with a little red line. Oh, this is a gray outline. Okay. That's uh, actually black. Livid brown, actually. Or Bokara gray. So maybe I'll add that to my last color here. 
And let's see how that goes. Okay. So I can say border one pixel solid that color. Hmm. Two pixels. That works. Cool. I kind of want this. Well, that would be fun. We'll go with that. I think I want the other blue for my blue line. All right, cool. So that's my rink. What do I need next? I need a red line, a blue line, a red line, a blue line, a red line. Cool. Let's do it. So let's make a line. Inside the rink, there is a line. Sorry, my stream was was yelling at me. I think we're good. All right. Uh, so we got a line. So let's do that. So a line. Um, it's like two pixels tall, and. The color is that, this is the red line, so I need that red. Cool. And I just need to move it up. I guess I'll just do this. Should I absolute position this? I don't know. I have no idea. For now, how about no? Maybe I should. I don't know. I, we'll find out the hard way. Is that enough crease area for you hockey players out there? Uh, that, that feels good. Um, and then the width, I just need to put it up by the height. Um, shrink it down. So 220, how about like 150? Cool. All right, neat. Next is my blue line. Just another line. I've done that for like four times. I try to call this like the line element, like it's a web component or something. Um, I keep trying these pseudo selectors. I'm gonna go for it again. Oh, I need a hyphen. All right, and just for kicks, let's see if this works. So this would be the same background color. property, but the color will be this. Of course it didn't work. Why would it, why would that work? The rink has a line and it's child two. One, two. So I'm just, I guess I need to spend some time. Oh, there we go. Okay. Crisis averted for now. Um, we'll make it a little longer, a little less to the left.
Oh, Cool, and this needs to come out a little more, so. I just have a sinking feeling that these should be absolutely positioned. This margin feels weird. But I'm not gonna do it yet until I have a good reason why. Mm, right in the middle there, 50. Because that moved up, it needs to be a little longer. One more pixel? How about two more pixels? Not quite. We're gonna have to do something about this gray. It's gonna have to like sit on top. I might have to bust out this outer rink in the ice to give the outer rink a higher Z index, but we'll deal with that in a few minutes. Um, so this still needs to come over. Cool. Uh, next is our red line, and I think our red line is going to have a circle with a dot in it. So let's do that next. So this is like the third line. And as per usual, I promise I will kind of figure out the commonalities of these lines and, and fix it for you. I know someone's going to jump all over me for that, but that's okay. That's why I do this, so you guys can tell me what I'm doing wrong. Um, I usually do these two or three times before I figure out, hey, all these things are the same, and these are the different ones. Um, okay, so that's a good color and we just need to make it wider. So this is probably the full width, so that's 220. Boom, and the left would probably be like zero. Yeah, and I just need some top. I probably need to do some math to figure out if this is the actual center, uh, or <laughs> I can absolutely position these. All right, I think I've convinced myself. So, yeah, let's do that. So I'm just gonna make a thing. that holds all of these. So the container is absolutely positioned, the rink is, and so is the line. We all put these on different. Cool. So I don't need these anymore. Cool. And since the lines are absolutely positioned, I can take these margin tops off. This is really like, all right, I've complicated it already. The lines have a height of two. By default, sure, their background will be red. And that's all they can share. So this would be first child. Where did it go? Cool. That's great. This one's blue.
Great. I probably should have done this from the start. <laughs> and this one, um, by default, is that long. Do I need that? I do. Cool. So this I can, can I just say margin auto? Because I want this in the, in the dead center. Top zero, bottom zero, right zero, left zero. So that's the center, huh? <laughs> I'm glad I did that because that makes all these things look super goofy. Math. So, the, okay, so that's interesting. There's, and as a hockey player, I should know this, there's more space in the, in the defensive offensive zone than there is in the neutral zone. Or maybe this is two thirds. This is sorry. This is a third. This is a third. This is a third. Okay, so this needs to come up. It looks fine for now. Um, I don't have to get the exact proportions right. No professionals will be playing on my rink here, but it got to look convincing, you know. All right, cool. Uh, we need another line, which is the other blue line, which I've learned that we can do this with like shadows. Like I can mirror this thing over here, which would be pretty freaking sweet. Um, for now, we'll keep it semantic, but just know that we could probably just shadow this over here, which would be neat. So two blue lines with one div. I can show you what I mean. So I'll take this line out for now so you can see I have three line divs. But if I do something like this, I'll get a shadow. OK, cool. And now I can just uh, do that so it lines up just fine. And I move this down like 50. Oh, wrong one. Top, bottom, left, right. Is that how that works? Yeah, okay. So it's kind of fun. You can see that <laughs> uh, this blue line here now is this, and it's casting shadow over here. You know what? I'm going to keep this. I kind of like that. Uh, that's kind of fun. So. So let's think about this. So if this is 95 from the top, this would have to be 95 from the bottom this way. Or just for fun. Yeah, all right. So you see the box shadow here. Um, I think it's gonna be make more sense if I just make another line. I don't know, I'm arguing with myself, who knows. Cool, so you saw this box shadows, that's kind of fun. Um, to be more semantic, we'll make another line. But I hope that was educational. So this would be the fourth child, fourth line. And it pretty much looks the exact same as this. That's why I was trying to do it with a shadow. But my theory here is I can just double the top. So it'll be 190. 95 plus 95 is 190. And that should sit right where I want it. And it doesn't. That's interesting. <laughs> All right, fine. Um, cool. Neat. All right. It's starting to look like a ninja turtle or something. I don't really feel like it looks like a hockey rink just yet. We'll have to fix that. And then we need a fifth line here.
and this will have that color and can do like a bottom instead so the first child had a top of 30 can I do a bottom of 30 that'd be sweet rink line and child five One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Where? Why don't I see it? Where'd it go? I'm just giving it random properties so I can see it. There it is. I found it. All right, so why doesn't bottom of 35 pixels work? Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, great. Cool. Oh, it's because I didn't give it a width before. Okay, got it. So the red line's width was 160. Great. And the top was 30. Sorry, the left was 30. Great. And I can take this out. So far, so good. It looks a little goofy. Maybe it won't look so goofy if we put a puck in here. So place the puck on the rink. So that's a puck. And a puck is just a little circle. I don't know, like five pixels. And I have a color for that. That's this charcoal color, or arsenic, it says. See it showed up here and we'll make it circular. And that'll also be right in the center. So maybe next video I'll use SAS and I'll make this a mix in or an import or whatever. Let's say center me uh, because this is kind of no fun to type. Absolutely positioned. <laughs> it's so tiny. All right, let's make this thing move. Uh, we'll make the puck just go back and forth or something till we add goals. This red line is kind of bothering me here. The width, can I make it like 62? Uh, so we want the puck to move. Um, I've done animations a few times. I have a snippet over on another screen, um, just so I can remember the syntax. So this is animation. Um, slide. The puck slides, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I get a number. I don't know. Ten seconds. And then. For now, the easing will be linear. I've watched a couple Valhead videos. Valhead, I think I've showed her before. She lives in Pittsburgh, just like I do. She's super energetic. She does a bunch of um, animation talks, and I've watched some of her stuff, and she talks. Actually, I think I have one of these books, too. Um, all about, basically, the syntax and how to use it and why it's important for the web. I'm still not super good at it, but... Uh, I've learned all sorts of easing 
things from her. But we're going to use linear, so it's just going to go like, it's not going to speed up or slow down. It's just going to just do that. Um, so I call my animation slide, so I say at keyframes slide. And now I can give this like a dictionary looking thing with, or a hash map or whatever you want to call it with keys and values. The keys are the percentages of the animation. So I can say at 0%, I don't know, the bottom bottom is 0. At 50%, the bottom is, what's this thing? I can say top is 0. That should move, right? Go. Go. Oh, no, right. So the bottom would be, um, I'll do it this way. The, this is the bottom zero. This would be negative 150 pixels. <laughs> there it goes. It's <laughs> super slow. We'll keep it fast for now. Okay. So that's 300, actually. <laughs> and then at 100 pixels, I want to make it slide all the way to the bottom of here, which I'm just going to assume is bottom negative 300 pixels. Oh, I see. Um, so I'll make this 25. That's 50. 75 has to come back. So 75%. You can tell I don't do this very often. Right, actually, why doesn't what I just made work? So I want to go here. Then I want to go here. Then I'm going to go back to here. Oh, okay, so that was fine. 50, well, that's fine, 25, 50, about 33, 66, and at 99, I can say bottom goes back to zero. Cool, and let's make this like five seconds. Fascinating. Cool. Um, I think I want to give the puck a little bit of shadow. This this is really not a perfect animation. Um, I probably need more coffee to figure this out. It, it goes nice and slow. Check this out. And then it's going to speed up. Boom! And then it slows back down. Um, but while we're at it, let's give it a, and I'm going to zoom in here so I can kind of see it. Well, that was dumb. Um, a box shadow. I just kind of want to give it a little bit of tint. So one pixel. What's the circle for? Oh, the circle is the puck. Is that what you're saying? The hockey puck. Bill Gates is asking a question on live coding. One pixel, one pixel, like CCC. Did I script it? Um, yeah, so I made this, this little guy, which is a puck. Um, and the puck is just this CSS and then I animated it with this little bit of CSS here. So yeah, I, I scripted it to move. It's kind of fun. Yep. So let's make this, because I, I kind of want it to like have a shadow. I'm going to stop the animation right now just for a minute. Okay. So you can see the, uh, it needs to be a little darker, DDD. And I'll give it a blur too so like we can really see this. black. Cool, so you can kind of see it here. Um, so if I move this over, 
One pixel, one pixel. Yeah, that's cool. So let's put the uh, animation back. So animation, slide, 10 seconds, linear, infinite. And that should slide now. <laughs> With its shadow, look at that. Cool, great. Um, what else do I need? So these lines are kind of bothering me. Um, I also need a circle here to make it more look like a hockey rink, not a freaking... I don't know, it looks like a ninja, so I don't know what it looks like. It just looks like a face. Uh, but I'm going to refill my coffee. I'll be right back. Um, any other suggestions I can add, let me know on the stream. I'm back, got some coffee. Okay, where were we? Um, okay, I think the next step is, first off, I'm gonna just shut off this animation while I'm working. So that puck's just gonna sit there. Uh, we'll turn it back on, I promise. And let's add, I guess two circles, two, like, a, oh, this is interesting, this one's blue. And then you have a little dot. Don't want a blue circle. I think I want a red circle, like a red. Uh, that's where they take the face offs. And real hockey rinks have circles here, circles here, small circles here, small circles here, small circles here, small circles here, big ones, big ones. Oh, and then I need the crease too. So we have a lot of work to do still. Um, I'm gonna put those circles on this third line. So this is one, two, three. So on. Let's do this. Um, on this child here, the third, I'm just going to put a pseudo element of like before, and so I can give this another circle. So, um, I'll give it a red border. So, border. Uh, how big are my lines? Lines are two pixels, so this will be two pixels as well. And I need that red, which is called International Orange or Golden Gate Bridge. I've never been to California before, but apparently this is the color of the Golden Gate Bridge. Also the colors of my center circle. So I didn't see that, oh yeah, because I need to absolutely position it. So. Oh no, this should already be, no it's not. Oh, it's a pseudo element, so I need to give it some content. It's a little trick that I literally always forget. See, you can see it showed up here. With height. It's kind of odd, it's just chilling there. Did I spell width or height wrong? No. All right, cool. And I want to make a circle, so border, Radius is 50%. That'll make it a circle. <laughs> I don't understand why it's so small. All right. Um, well, also, because this goes right in the center, too. There we go. Um, and again, I have to do this. I have to put it right in the center. So top zero, uh, bottom. I'll go in clockwise, this is how CSS works. So top, right, bottom, left. All zeros, that'll go right in the center. Nope. Oh, and margin auto. There we go, cool. Right in the center, that's kinda neat. Um, I'm starting to question the entire shape of my rink. I think it's too fat. Maybe Olympic size rinks are, are more fat than uh, NHL rinks, who knows. So that's my circle, and then I'm going to put a, a smaller one in here. That's where the ref drops the puck. Uh, so this was a before, so I'll just do kind of the same thing, but after. Um, and it's really just a smaller circle, so I'm just going to copy this whole thing. 
and we'll just make these like way smaller, like 10. Mm. This is after. Cool, all right. Uh, so just check that out right now. We'll add our animation back in and kind of watch it. Great. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn that back off. Uh, what do we need next? We need some crease. So the crease is something that looks like this. Uh, typically it's filled in with blue, so I think I'm gonna outline it with red and then put blue inside of it. Um, maybe I'll make that a pseudo element of these lines here, which would be cool. Sure, why not? Okay, so our first line will have a crease, and that crease is usually like a half circle, sometimes more like a half like oval looking thing. We'll find out. Um, so we'll just give this a pseudo element here. This is like a half circle with an outline, so putting this on my first line, which is my top most blue line. And I'll place that right on top of that line. I don't really know where it's going to go yet. I don't know, like in the middle or something. Oh, this is after, sorry, this is too long. Um, I think I have this written down too. No, I don't. Uh, I need a half circle. Uh, half. This is like I can set some very specific border radius properties. I think half circle CSS. Yeah, something like this. How do they do it? Border, bottom, left radius, border, bottom, right radius. Okay. So I'll give it a height of, I don't know, 25 pixels, a width of 25 pixels just for fun. I should see it. Background color of green for now so I can find it. Where to go? Oh, this needs to be absolutely positioned as well. Position. Mm, it's a pseudo element. I forget this literally every time. It needs that. Cool. Okay. This can also be just an empty string, no spaces. It doesn't matter. Um, all right. So my top's way too tall. Oh yeah. Right, and my left would be, I don't know, 40% then. Can I do margin auto and it just like chills there? Margin auto. Cool, right in the center, look at that. All right, so it's kind of a crease. Uh, let's give it the right color. I think it'll be this thing, Jordy Blue. Um, yeah, cool. I think I want to put it right above if the lines are too, yeah, cool. Um, and now what was this? Border left, border right, border, I'm just going to do this. Border bottom left radius, border bottom left radius is 90 pixels and oops huh <laughs> that's cool okay and then if I do the same thing but the right also 90 pixels 
I have a really tall crease, so the height may be 15. Yeah, look at that. Do these things have borders on them? If I border one pixel solid, that red. There's another reason to use SAS. I can just use variables instead of remembering these. Next video. <laughs> Look at that. It's pretty wild. Um, so now I think if I can move this back and we'll make it two pixels like everything else. Nope, one pixel. I don't know, do creases have those red things? I think they do. They definitely do. Okay. Um, next would be, man, this would be really, really nice to have a shadow now. All right, so you just want to, like, destroy half our lines. Yeah, I kind of do. I, I, I don't really want to make this crease again, like, at all. Um, <laughs> well, maybe I have to, because I can't shadow the whole thing. Yeah, all right, fine. I am going to do it again. So this is our fifth line. So we have to flip that up. Um, to do that, border left, border right. So I want the other one, which is this guy. And I bet this one is, let me think about this. Top left, top right, that makes sense. Cool, and then we just move it up. Um, this says bottom 35, so I'll just put that there. Really? I don't understand that at all. If this line was bottom 35 and this one is bottom 35, oh, because it's pseudo element, right, so it's actually zero. Plus the height of it, so 15. Yeah, great. I got a crease. Two creases, actually. Um, does it look like a hockey rink yet? Kind of, I think it's too fat. So let's let the puck roll while we f fix this. <laughs> and if there were nets on this, there would be a goal. Um, but there are no nets. This is, maybe we need a Zamboni. You think we need a Zamboni? <laughs> okay, uh, so let's try to make this not so fat. And this is gonna break all of our lines. Um, this should be probably a good time to refactor. So. That's our container, that's cool. Uh, oh, this is where I was putting all the absolutes. So we can fix that now by putting this like so. Is this a good idea? I guess. Can I take this out now? Cool. just to make things a little cleaner. Didn't I already do that? That's the after, got it. All right, so I moved all my absolutely positioned things out of here, I think. Oh, a fifth. I didn't really save any lines of code, but I don't have to think about these things now, so that's nice. Um, this isn't right. That crease needs to go up just a little bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, much better.
much better. Okay, next. That was refactor number one. Refactor number two will be, can I make this 200? How about 210? That's a little less fat. And then what if I play with the shape? Actually, I kind of like the square. That's a, that's a cool hockey rink, actually. That's, that's very nice. Um, it almost looks like a basketball court. Maybe I'll do that one next. Maybe I'll do a basketball court. Um, so that's cool. And then let's keep going here. What does this do? Definitely not that. We'll keep that at 120. It gives me a nice rounded backs and then if I mess with this what do I get nope I think 100 was where it's at it, it's just gonna be have to be a little thinner okay and then everything has to move and again sass would be perfect here but I'm not using it uh, so what did I do I went down 10 pixels so everything goes down 10 pixels What happened? Oh, 50. Cool. So with this, so this becomes 102. Sorry, 202. 210. All right, great. What else we got? It's kind of driving me wild that these lines go into the, yeah, I'm just not, not totally right on this. Uh, one solution would be just make these lines just a little shorter, kind of like the blue lines, that looks nice. I think that's what I'm gonna do. The alternative would be make like a rink wrapper, which I kind of want to do. Yeah, I'll do that. So um, I need an ice element. And the ice is the thing that's going to have the lines. It's going to cause major refactor, but that's okay. Not a problem. It literally breaks everything. Um, but why I want to do this is that's the container, that's the rink, which is good. Now I want ice. And this guy will have this, like this. Pretty much the same thing. Great, but we'll make this the index a little larger. I don't know, like 10. Um, oh, I'm missing here. See that? Some white. Um, oh, right, because that's the border. Um, so, just kidding. I don't want a border here. I just want this color to be this. And I'll make it a little fatter. Okay. So, background color is that. Right. And then we'll just make this a little smaller. So, like 299 and 109 <laughs> I'm making it so hard on myself um, great and I'll just move this thing a little 
a little over. So ice is here. And we'll just move this a little bit. Hmm, I don't like what I'm doing here at all. So I'm just gonna go back to what I had and make the lines a little shorter. What do you guys think? Any objections? I still gotta go back. Probably confusing the heck out of everybody. Okay, that's good. And then I gotta just take the ice out. Everything's back to normal. Okay, great. Um, and then we'll move these. Oh, shoot. I already did that. All right, great. So the rink just gets its background color again of, do I have it here? Jordy blue, nope, it gets the background color of this. <laughs> no, this. Oh man, what happened? There we go. Great, we're back to normal. All right, uh, so I'm just gonna make the first and fifth line just a little smaller. And move it just a little bit over. Oh. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So 145 and 32, let's do it down here as well. That's interesting that this one's longer. That doesn't make any sense to me. Cool. I think that's my hockey rank. I hope you all get to watch the it's Pittsburgh Penguins versus the Philadelphia Flyers tonight. Uh, I don't know what time uh, on NBC. <laughs> I'll be watching, and hopefully uh, the ice looks just like this. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in uh, next time.